What's up, everyone? Makeup by Mario here. I'm with Kim Kardashian West, and we are showing you guys today how to do a full makeup using only drugstore products. So I'm gonna start out with foundation. I'm gonna use the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Makeup, and the shade here is Natural Beige W4. I think this is the first time I'm showing foundation on your app. Really? Yeah. So I'm blending it now with the damp beauty blender, and this actually has a nice coverage. You do this on your thing, Go for it. Okay, so I'm gonna prime her eyelids now using a concealer. This one here is the Revlon Color Stay Under Eye Concealer in Light Medium. We're gonna set her eyelids now using the NYX HD Studio Photogenic Finishing Powder. And I'm only gonna set her eyelids right now. I'm gonna set the rest of the face a little bit later on. Sorry, Anastasia, but this is a drugstore tutorial, so I'm gonna use Maybelline Brow Deep Brown Define and Fill Duo Brow Pencil. So I'm focusing most of the product on the outer corner of the eyes, and then just very, very lightly on the inner corners here. I'm highlighting her brow bone right now using the L'Oreal Impalable eyeshadow, and I actually do love these eyeshadows, and I use them quite often. This is the shade um, Endless Pearl. But these have great pigment, and they blend really easily. I'm using the shade Gilded Envy, and this is also the L'Oreal Impalable eyeshadows. And I'm just putting this all over the lid. I'm just blending that now with a clean brush so we don't see any harsh lines taking a little bit of the shade called Bronze Taupe, also L'Oreal Infallible, and I'm applying that just to the outer corners there just to give a little more depth. And then as you can see, I'm applying it very softly to the crease as well. So I actually forgot to pick up a eyeliner when I went to the drugstores. So I'm gonna use an eyeshadow. This is the Eternal Black from the L'Oreal Infallible. So if ever you forget a product, or you're missing a product, you can improvise and somehow make it work using other products. I usually always mix actually two concealers and I'm going to mix uh, two here as well. This is the NYX HD concealer and the shade is CW05 medium. And this one's a little bit more peachy and so I'm gonna apply that peachy color right to the darkest areas under the eyes. So what I'm gonna do now is using a damp beauty blender, I'm going to blend that before I apply the other concealer. And now I'm going to use this Maybelline New York concealer and I'm going a little bit heavy on the concealer just because Kim works in television and she gets photographed a lot. So we go a little bit heavier on the concealer. For you girls doing it at home, you obviously don't have to use this much. I'm gonna set the under eye area now using the NYX HD Studio Photogenic Finishing Powder. Typically I would use a sponge to kind of press that powder on there, but because I wasn't 100% sure of how this powder would act uh, throughout the day, I'm using it just very softly. I'm gonna set the foundation now using the Rimmel London Stay Matte Long Lasting Press Powder. This shade is 004. Now I also typically will set foundation with a loose powder, but I'm trying a pressed powder just because when I was at the drugstore, I found it easier to select shades in the pressed powders rather than the loose powders. Um, so I'm gonna do a mascara now. Obviously, um, you guys know I'm very loyal to this L'Oreal Voluminous and Carbon Black, so I am going to use that one. I'm gonna take that mascara now and apply it to the bottom eyelashes. To add some color now and some contour to her face, I'm going to use the Milani Bronzer All Over Glow. It has two shades here, one lighter, one darker, and I'm gonna sort of mix both of them together. And I'm applying it right onto the hollows of her cheeks. Same thing on the other side. And blend it as you apply it. And a little bit along the hairline. And for the forehead area, I'm gonna use the lighter shade here. It looks more like a natural kind of contour. And I'm applying also that lighter shade just along the jawline here, just for a very subtle contour. So for Kim's blush, I'm gonna use the Milani Baked Blush in 05. These blushes are actually really nice. For highlighting the cheekbones, I'm gonna use Physician's Formula Bronze Pearl. I'm gonna go right along the top of the cheekbones, but just using very little because the blush that we applied does have some glow to it. I'm applying a lip pencil, and I actually really love this color. This is the Prestige Cosmetics Waterproof Lip Liner. I don't like to overline the lips too much. I like to keep them kind of right along the lip line. And then I fill in the lips all over, get a nice base of color on there, and then when the product starts wearing off later, the lipsticks were gloss, she still has some color there. I'm gonna mix two lipsticks right now. This is the Maybelline number 915 Blushing Beige Lipstick. I'm gonna apply a very little bit of that to her lips. And I'm gonna take this NYX color, it's called Simply Nude Lip Cream. This is more of a peachy nude. And I'm going to blend two lip glosses as well. This is the Circa Beauty 01 Lovely Lace and 02 Soft Tone. And then when you mix them together, I get that really beautiful peachy tone that Kim loves so very much. So everyone, we are all done. This is the complete look using only drugstore products. We did this for the first time, and I have to say, I really love this look on her.